we can use the course calculator to perform correlation and regression analysis. I will show you with a small problem uh, that we so solved previously. Um, first, uh, you, you should come and um, click on second function and go to data entry. We need to use second function and clear all the previous work. And now we're ready to enter our first x variable. So the first x variable is 10 and then you push enter down and then the first y va value is 5, enter down and then 2, enter down, 44, enter down, 7, enter down, 10, enter down, 15, enter down, 2, enter down, 0, and then 58, and 4, and 34, and finally 1, and 47. At this point, um, we don't have any more x values to enter, so I can go to second function stat and uh, start looking at the linear function results. So we can see that our uh, number of um, number in our sample paired observations were seven. Uh, average x, uh, uh, standard deviation, sample standard deviation of x, population standard deviation of x, uh, y bar. Uh, uh, standard deviation, sample standard deviation of y, population standard deviation of y, um, intercept and slope for the regression line, uh, and then the r, r value or the negative 0.94, which was our correlation coefficient. Um, we, at this point, we can enter an x value to make a, a projection using the line. Uh, we have other characteristics here that we can, um, or um, other parameters here that we can uh, view. Thank you.